Hello guys, today we're just going to get through the winter break, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, welcome back to the Napoli career mode, it's me Dan back again and today we've got a couple more uh, league games until the winter break and then I think... I think we might have AC Milan after this uh, winter break. So we might go ahead to that Milan game and then play that one, obviously. So just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. And if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button as it does really help. And don't forget to like the video as well. So thank you guys for that. So let's get into it. Let's play match against Sassuolo. Um, so we're going to go in with the first team, obviously, because we played the second team against Liverpool in the last episode. So if you didn't see that, go watch it. And we start this episode off with a victory, a 2-1 victory. It's Jorginho and Osman with the goals. Oh, excuse me. And then Torore got their goal. So eight shots, seven on target, four shots, three on target, 59-41. to 41. Osman and Jorginho on the score sheet yet again. And they both get man of the match as well with an 8.1, unless someone on the bench. Nope. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take that one. So, uh, yeah, 2-1 victory to start off the episode. That's not too bad. Another three points at, at the top. So, yeah, that is really good for us. Right, so on to the next game then, which is against... Um, I'm not too sure. I know we've got Cremonese, I think. I, but I think that game's a midweek game. Um, I'm trying to think who it is. Who do we have? Oh, we've got Lecce. We've got Lecce. We've got a, youth, a scout report as well. That's just the uh, guy in the... Oh, no. This is a totally different one, actually. Uh, right. This guy is a no. This guy is a no. This guy is a no. 250, no. No... Nope. <sighs> we still only got that one guy. <laughs> we still only got that one Youth Academy prospect, which is uh, Bernardi. And he's still 64. He hasn't gone up yet. We need to get his shooting up. Um, so fingers crossed he can do that. Uh, he has gone up to 16 now, though. Um, he was 15 when we got him. He's now 16, so that's good. Um, right, so let's advance then towards the game against Lecce. Uh, we got another... Uh, progress assessment is one is Pellegrini. He's up to an 87. Blimey. Already. Um, and it looks like he won't go up anymore, which is annoying. Um, we'll do playmaker, I guess. Uh, there is a couple. We need that. There is a couple more development guys that we need to do, but I can't be bothered. Uh, right. So on to this game against Lecce. Um, we will put the first team in again um, because why not? Um, so let's see if we can beat them. Uh, yeah, we are ready for them. So yeah, we just got to beat this guy, this team. And then we do have a midweek game, and then I think it's our winter break. So we've got a couple of days to get past. So yeah, we got Lecce, who must be at the bottom of the league, I'm guessing. So can we beat Lecce at their place? It is, yeah, 4-0. Lozano comes on and scores, so there we go. That's two goals for him. Um, but Pedro Goncalves uh, scored. Jorginho missed a penalty, and Zielinski scored. So seven shots, seven on target. Two shots, one on target. 58-42 in possession. And uh, Zielinski gets man of the match, actually, with 9.9. .9. I was quite surprised Lozano didn't get that one. But uh, we'll take it. So there we go, 4-0. Wow. Um, so, yeah. We've got a 2-1 victory and a 4-0. That is not too bad. Uh, yeah, Lozano is scoring a lot of goals for us uh, recently. H him and... Um, what's his name? Osman have been scoring quite a few goals. So that's nice to see. Right, so on to our next game, which is against Cremonese. Um, so we're going to go in with the... Second team, yep, second team. So can we beat them? We are at home, so can we beat them? No, wow, 3-2 loss, wow. Uh, Ascobar, Okarike, and Mate with their goals. Elmas and Calabria 
with our goals. Wow. Four shots, four on target. Six shots, six on target. 54 to 46. That wasn't supposed to go to the plan. So that is our first loss in the league. So not the best time uh, to lose our first game. But um, yeah, uh, that's a weird one. That is a weird one. I think we have got them coming up as well in January. So hopefully we'll get our own back uh, in that one. But uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a weird one. That is a weird loss there. Right. Uh, yeah. So we do have we do have AC Milan. Um, so we will go into that in a minute. Uh, so Bernardi is still up to. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. And it is a transfer market as well. So let's see what's up. And we do have a player chat. Uh, Lozano wants to come on, but uh, I'll say, um, yeah, I'll say that one. He might come on. You never know. So we are still first. Uh, we are winning by six points and we are facing second place Milan at the moment. So, yeah, this game is going to be a big game because if uh, Milan win... You never know. You never know. But we need to get to back to winning ways. Uh, so to do that against AC Milan, that would be good. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think we'll be making any signings in the January transfer window. Um, we pretty much done all of our signings in the first leg, in the uh, first transfer window, didn't we? Because um, I think we're pretty much all, all all right. Especially with the first team, second team, I mean, second team's growing as well, which is uh, quite surprising. Lozano's up to 84. Oh, my days. Um, you know, that second team, <laughs> Jesus. Um, right, so on to this game against Napoli. So, obviously, we're going to go in with our first team. So, let's play highlights and let's see if we can be Milan, shall we? AC Milan, that is, not Inter Milan, AC Milan. At the San Siro as well. We've got a woman referee as well. Uh, we've got a woman ref referee. Right. Um, oh, we've got Napoli Solar on. Who is it? Oh, it's Goncalves. But we're not running. But uh, what's his name is? Zaniolo. Zaniolo. Yes. Beats Mike Magnan. And that's 1-0. We've got the first goal in the first five minutes. So that will do very nicely indeed. Could have gone the other way, but um, that's not too bad. So we we'll definitely take that. Right, so on... Oh, we've got another solo run. It's gone Calvez again. So let's see if he can actually score this time. Um, well, it was a great first touch. Yeah, a great first touch. Going all the way with gone Calvez. It's gone Calvez to beat Mike Magnan. And that's 2-0. So there we go. That is two no so, uh Pedro Goncalves and uh Zaniolo with the goals at the moment. So that yeah, great time to score as well. So two nil. Right, so we've got a Napoli attack now. Can we make it three nil? We've got uh Pedro Goncalves at the back post there. And you know what? I'm gonna go with the over top ball towards Zaniolo, but it's gonna go to no avail. Right, uh oh we've got a Mil oh that's a Milan solo run, it's second half. <laughs> Uh, who is it? It's who is that? Uh, is that Salamakers? I think, or is it uh, that uh, Belgian, that young Belgian? Oh, he scored! He scored! Uh, yes, uh, the young Belgian who scored. So there we go. It's two-one. They're back in it. They are back in it. Wow. I don't know if I like his player face there. I think that's a bit of a uh, poor player, poor player face, poor player, poor player face there. <laughs> I can't speak. Anyway, on to Osman to make it 3-1. And yeah, look at that. It's lit. What a game, by the way. 3-1 uh, for the fans. And we've literally got uh, two, well, three, three solo run goals, I think. So yeah, we definitely need to get on to that. So that is 3-1. And now we do have a Milan attack to defend. Uh, we've got Salamakas, Grimaldo. Let's see if we can get the ball with Grimaldo. We're not going to get the ball with Grimaldo. Oh, they're trying. Oh, good save. Good save, Martinez. Right. Now we do have a crossing opportunity for Napoli. So let's see if we can get that crossing opportunity. Uh, oh, oh, I was going to say the 
through wall was there. We got, but we got tackled. So there we go. But there we go. We do win the Milan game 3-1. That will do very nicely indeed. So that is a great three points to pick up on, especially when they're second in the league. So that is really good. So Zaniolo scores. Uh, so let's look at this one. So just, yeah, great through ball to Zaniolo. And then um, I'm quite surprised that we didn't get tackled there, but we did. Uh, we didn't. And then Pedro Goncalves again. So straight in. And then, yeah, finesse shot down low. And then uh, Charles de Catelier, uh does score. So that is 2-1. And I was thinking here, oh, God, don't, you know, computer, don't screw us here. But then we do get another solo run. And then we put it on towards Osman, who scores as well. So there we go. That is 3-1. Uh, and then Martinez with a save here right at the end uh, in the of a, a near post and yeah great save so yeah 3-1 uh 10 rating for pedro goncalves zaniola and osman both get a 9 rating and uh decat de ketelair uh all got a 7.5 for them so 12 shots three on target five shots two on target 65 to 35 in possession and that'll do very nicely indeed so that is that so that is going to be it for today guys next episode we will be back um i think we do have the cup coming up as well unless that's the um unless unless that's the uh thingamajig unless that's the uh what's it called uh the super cup it's not the super cup i don't think it's a cup of some sort, um, but we don't know who we got yet. So we'll think, of that. <laughs> we'll think about that when we get to it. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. So please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.